right now we're glutted, but there will be some, I think there'll be a level of decrease just naturally, like evolution of some people falling out, you know, just saying this is too chaotic and crazy for me as a single designer. I'm leaving. There are others who have a great handle on it and will thrive in this environment and will, you know, have great success. And, um, but regardless, there's still like, you keep hiring and hiring and eventually the demand is going to stop. I mean, it's like in a recession design firms and architectural firms grew and then they shrunk and then they grew again. Yeah. Yeah. I like, I like that answer. I, um, been, well, what you, other answer could there be? <laughs> you could, you could go into other in, parts of the industry. You could try to maybe create like different divisions. Who knows? Maybe this is the demand is here for here to stay for the foreseeable future. You know, I mean, you could, um, horizontally grow. Yes, exactly. I, so, um, you know, you mentioned earlier, you use house pro for your, uh, proposals and invoicing. Uh, is there a specific tool in that environment that you really li- like? A feature that you really like? In Ivy. In Ivy. I don't use House Pro for all the other. They've told it's, you this it's, before. It's, you know it's the same. Said, same and all. <laughs> I know it's the same home, but we really only use the Ivy portion. We're not using the five or six other tools that you have. I think as part of a House yeah. Pro. Yes. Um. So within Ivy. I, I mean, I love your grabber. I think your grabber is amazing. The clipper, product clipper. The clipper. Yeah. yeah, the clipper. I love your clipper. I love that it auto populates. So mm-hmm. that was like newer. So yeah. when you when you hover over something, it auto populates the, yep. the description. Super helpful. Nice. Um, Saves you time. Yeah. Yeah. So I think your clipper is good. Good clipper. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me have to ask you a question then. With all the streamlining you get with House Pro slash Ivy and the time that you're saving, uh, you know, what do you do with that extra free time? Huh. <laughs> there is no extra free time. Um, <laughs> I actually think you're, you don't have to put this in, but I don't really think it's saving us time because if we weren't using like a system like an Ivy, say it was a competitor, yeah. which is very similar, sure. we'd be using QuickBooks or we'd be doing it by hand and that's less time. So it's not saving us time. What it does though is it it's a record or a history of your client's products. So over time, like say somebody comes back to you 10 years from now or five mm-hmm. years from now, yeah. you can actually look things up and come back to them that's where the for me the time saver is it's an interesting point of view because i I think you're one of the first to talk about it as a repository which i like it's unique angle as to how you use house pro per se you know you you use it i I love that it's all documented in there it's like having a cloud you know and you can go back through your history and pull you know i've we we do get some publicity or press and i'm able to go through and like find you know the fabric that I used on X or the this that I used on that. And um, your invoicing, uh, since you're doing that through House Pro slash Ivy, you are integrated with QuickBooks, I'd imagine? Yeah. 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 And how have you found that integration? Uh, it's gotten better um, because I use the older version of Ivy, not through House Pro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it was glitchier, but... If you, from what I understand, is through House Pro, it's it's a much better yes. sync. Yeah, I, I I think that's been the case. That we really worked hard on ensuring that connection is flawless. Um, let me ask you this: How do you envision the future uh, of the industry in terms of its relationship with digital technologies? Um, I think that three D rendering right now, which is still, for example. For a smaller firm or a medium-sized firm, it's not something we can just do yeah. in-house. It takes too much time, but it, it's going to become more um, user-friendly and less time-consuming. So hopefully it will become a tool that anybody, any design company can offer, which would be fantastic. Yeah. Um, and I think that you know, due to the exposure like to HGTV in the industry, clients ex- are expecting to yeah. see... The, the renderings, um, they don't realize like that it's 
costly and time consuming still to do. So yeah. um, I'm hoping it becomes more ubiquitous and that we can really offer it. And you know, you, you obviously working a lot on the go, you talked about, you know, driving a lot and kind of visiting uh, sites and uh, a lot of remote work as well. I mean, how do you remain smart work while working on the go? <laughs> um, well, I use voice text a lot. Sure. So in the car, I voice text a lot of people, um, delegate, you know, because I delegate as much as I can while I'm driving, I take voice notes. So I often like things pop in my head because when you're driving, you think. Um, so I do that a lot. I listen to podcasts. So that's a good time to get business knowledge mm -hmm. um, when you're in the car. Do you use um, any iPad or, or iPhone or mobile phone um, apps? Like do you use House Pro app, for example? Um, we will pull up House Pro. Like if I need to show somebody you know, a, cl a client, one of our invoices or proposals. So yes, mm -hmm. we will. Um, for digital, we've used measure apps before. That's not about being on the go, but that's back to your digital question. Right. right. Um, I'm trying to think what else we use, like through a phone. I, I do want to get an iPad that we're all using in the office to capture our notes so we can write with a, a pencil. Mm -hmm. And then the notes would just you know, automatically upload into Google Drive rather than like handwriting it and then scanning it and getting it in there. Yeah. So that's a next step, but. Nice. Um, you know, it's, it's funny, a lot of the older folks that I've interviewed, uh, uh, not you, not, not your age, I mean, much older that have been in the industry, they're a bit hesitant to adopt new technologies. Like, uh, what would you say to somebody you know, who, who is hesitant to adopt products like House Pro? Oh, oh boy. Um, game changer. Game changer and technology. If you, you know, technology is here to support us. So if it's, if it's, it might take a little while to learn, but if it's not useful, ditch it fast. Mm. But there are definitely, there are, there are definitely at least three to five tools. I mean, I use, we use Asana, we use Ivy, we use Canva, we use Google Drive, um, we use time tracking, which I know you can do through House, but I like my time tracker. Sorry, <laughs> I like okay. it a lot. Um, so we use NoCo for time tracking. So we have five, at least, and then five digital tools, at least, mm -hmm. plus CAD, that's six, um, or AutoCAD. Um, can we think of any other digital tools? Pinterest is seven. I would say we have room for two more, and then we're maxed out. <laughs> I love so, it, but that's that's ton ton of technology. That's used. eight yeah. pieces of technology that we use effectively. Nice. That's good to hear that. Um, all right, just a couple more questions. I, um, you know. How do you stay on top of your tasks? Like, how do you prioritize? And I want you to think of this answer through the lens of, because you've been scaling up so much, mm -hmm, especially mm -hmm. in the last year and a half, for somebody who is, finds themselves like just, you know, overwhelmed, so much to do, growing mm -hmm. fast, how do they stay on top of their priorities? So we're, you know... We have, we have a lot happening right now for us too. So it's hard, you know, things go in waves and in cycles, but we just sat, I just sat down with one of my employees and we tried to time block. So we actually sat there and went through the flow and we time blocked out for the next two weeks. And it's not always going to stay. Like I'm already sure that some of those time blocks went out the wayside, but it's four hours on design for this client and six hours for that. And so we blocked it out. And then the other thing to do is try to set up your initial design meeting so you have your deadline. At least get that first meeting in the calendar mm -hmm. because it, most people can work better when they have a, a structure that they, they can structure themselves to meet a deadline. So, you know, we try, I try to set up realistic design dates so I can work backwards in order to get to that point. Once that first design meeting is done, it's much easier to stay on track. Yes. I love that advice. Um, for somebody who's just starting out in the industry, um, you said it's a, it's a bit of a challenging time because 
You got to have some examples.